Oh, look at that, it's all green, purple. Oh, pillars here, my God. In the night of May 10 to 11 in 2024, I witnessed history in the making. An extreme geomagnetic storm produced the biggest aurora show the Earth has seen in at least 20 years. This video might be a bit chaotic, but such is the case while experiencing this once in a lifetime moment. Good evening, welcome back to the channel. You might be seeing it behind me already, but we have visible eye aurora shows already. Sorry for the chaos, I don't know if this will be a proper vlog or not, but I, but I have to film this. Tonight I've come out with uh, Frank Verburg, so my uh, Northern Light buddy <laughs> from Norway, as you have seen. Um, we have about uh, yeah, proper solar maximum at the moment. The past few days we've had about uh, eight CMEs, X-flare after X-flare, some producing uh, CMEs, coronal mass ejections, what we need for Aurora shows. And tonight the first one has arrived. And the data, you know, the figures from the L1 satellites, etc., the BZ, uh, the density, the speed, it's going through the roof and it's now even visible. It's two hours before astro darkness <laughs> and we are already seeing bright red pillars above us. I hope the camera is picking it up. My photo camera is, we're making a short time lapse or just some pictures and yeah, tweaking our composition still, but uh, I won't be talking too much, I think, because I'm going to enjoy this once in a lifetime show. Let's go. While it was slowly getting dark, we noticed the presence of the northern lights more and more, although still behind a layer of high clouds. So we're getting some uh, high clouds now. You can see a very large green band on the horizon. It's a bit diffused. Frank just uh, checked his uh, weather forecast apps and it looks like uh, we will get more and more clouds. We do see some stars above, so we will just keep on shooting a little bit. <laughs> it's still insane, man. Uh, it's uh, now almost so dark, I think. What time is it, Frank? Do you know? It's quarter past 11. Quarter past 11, so still 45 minutes until Astro Duck. So uh, yeah, we'll just keep on going. I, I've shot a lot, <laughs> but not really defined pillars yet. Only at the beginning of the evening, just a little bit. But now yeah, we see a lot of color in the sky, which is still super awesome. So uh, I'll just keep on going here on this composition. And after that, I'll uh, take a look a bit on uh, the weather forecast. Maybe we will drive somewhere else. Maybe we will stay here. We'll see. What a night, man. <laughs> so as you might be able to see, uh, it is very green behind us or in front of us, uh, which means the aurora is going nuts. <laughs> But you also see that there's still a lot of clouds in the sky, so we only see the colors. Uh, we're still uh, kind of shooting and seeing what we get later. But uh, in about half an hour, we should get a small patch of uh, clear skies coming over. So we are uh, getting ready. And in the meantime, yeah, you can see behind uh, the clouds that the aurora is arching all the way from... That's east <laughs> to west. The moon is setting more or less in the north, uh, northwest now. So yeah, really hoping to see some uh, defined pillars, but let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, <laughs> as is always the case, right? And then it happened. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my God. As you can see, it's going totally nuts now. This is our clear gap, it's well-timed. We can see it with the naked eye. You don't, I don't believe it, but my battery for my remote just died. <laughs> so I have to do it manually, but no worries. Man, we're seeing red in the sky, all pillars. Changing composition a bit. It will be something, man. Oh, this is, this might even be more insane than in Norway, but maybe that's also because it's in the Netherlands, 52 degrees north. <laughs> oh, it's a yeah, vertical, yeah. Oh my god. Oh wow. I'm shooting five seconds, f2.8. 
ISO 800, it's a bit lower, but it looked to be blown out even just a bit a while ago. And I really want that beautiful red color. Oh, look at that, it's all green, purple. Oh, pillars here. My God, green, purple. It's only green now. Here's the, oh, here's the purple. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Oh, this is insane. Incredible. Oh, man. Okay, I'll have to shoot manually, so I'll go back to my video, to my uh, photo camera. <laughs> I have stopped making photos just for a little while because I really want to have this on video also. Look at this. It is, now I'm pointing right up. And there. Look at that pillar, man. The trees, that's Frank, that's me, my camera, which is, a, is not automatically shooting because somehow I managed to run out of batteries a learning point but hey ho 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 this is history being made this is the largest aurora show i've ever seen and this might be the largest show <sighs> ever maybe not ever but come on man look at this unbelievable this next scene might summarize my unstructured chaotic state of mind this evening pretty accurately okay so i'm not sure it is recording now but <laughs> look at those. Everywhere I look in the sky. It is... I hear people screaming around me. <laughs> at least, oh, maybe they're, they're dogs. Yeah. I think uh, the aurora is now in... Uh, how do you call it? Growth, expansion and then recovery. I think it is in recovery now. Because the pillars are not as defined anymore. There uh, remains a purple glow. <laughs> oh my God. What a night, what a night, what a night. <sighs> Maybe I should point my camera the other way around now. Because I have this composition. Yeah, there's still, pill still pillars there. Okay, I'll walk out of frame, I think. Oh man, this is the worst making vlogs running around. <laughs> oh and making photos, making sure it stays in focus, which most of the time it is, but I have to change it manually sometimes. Oh my God, this looks good. Oh, I hear people screaming. <sighs> people are realizing now what they're seeing, just coming here, still doing manual, Exposures, doing a horizontal one, keeping an eye on the battery. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. It's handy to switch this lens to video mode because you can kind of see in the dark then. Uh, let's get back and let's see what it does. I have my dew heater on, which is now gone off, I see. Okay, there we go again, and bam. Because it's really humid. I don't know if I'm in the frame even. <laughs> oh my God, there we go again. I'm going to find you in the composition and then I'll show you what I'm shooting here. It's basically trees, okay. but I like trees. So Frank, How's it going tonight for you? <laughs> yeah, it's hard that's, to describe. That's a rhetorical yeah. question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a show. <sighs> we in have the beginning, a... I was just thinking, oh, with all the, the clouds are covering the sky, and yeah. eventually it, it breaks open, and then, yeah, what a show. We were just frantically running <laughs> around. We're having a little break now. 
because uh, it seems uh, the aurora is falling apart. It's called, the, um, yeah, it's called the growth phase, where you mainly see a sort of green band on the horizon. And uh, when it goes, you know, totally nuts with pillars, that's called the expansion phase, like a sort of explosion. And after that, it will just fall apart for a bit and go back into growth phase, hopefully for the next show. <laughs> oh man, what compositions did you shoot? I was running all over the place, but mostly <laughs> with, uh, of course, with the trees. And then just uh, one of the big trees right in the middle of the screen. And yeah. Then, and then behind the trees it's going loco. I was just checking it on the back of my screen and <laughs> it's, 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 and this is only on the back of the screen so yeah if you see it on your computer and you have to do some editing on it it will be it amazing. will be amazing man yeah. I also we're mainly shooting trees here that's what we came here for but uh, yeah they are beautiful trees lone of not lone trees but they are standing apart you can isolate them from the rest mainly <laughs> Oh man, I'm all, all, all my camera stuff was just lying around. I don't even know where some of my, my stuff is, but we'll just <laughs> take a good look. We'll find it later on. <laughs> man, I didn't do a lot of filming because I was running around. My um, uh, battery died of my remote and you know what, I'll just do it manually. That doesn't <laughs> matter. I don't have a time lapse because I didn't have time for a time lapse. But man, did we enjoy this evening. Yeah. This might be the largest storm ever. I mean, in the Netherlands, from above, you could see the corona. I think it's called the corona. I'm not even sure. Otherwise, I'll just pop it here. You see, you saw it exploding. And just when it became a bit clear. It's just all around us. Oh. And that's always the problem. Just because it's all around yeah. you, you think, OK, this is a good composition. Or maybe this is a good composition. And then it's very hard to stick to the plan and stick to one composition and say, OK, make the best of it. But yeah. But you know, sometimes you just have to make another composition because the aurora is going loco somewhere else. Yeah. Loco, I think I'll call this uh, vlog loco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's relax a bit and uh, see what the weather does. But I think I'll have a lot of shots and I think Frank too. So uh, yeah, definitely. maybe I'll see you in a couple of minutes. And otherwise, <laughs> I thank you for watching again. And I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs>